All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to another week of the ESPN MIC Highlight Reel. Got to bring the energy for you guys to recap the week and talk about all that happened. Oh, my God, there was so much that happened this week from members doing this, Alex doing this, crypto going crazy, spies doing crazy stuff. Inflation is apparently, quote unquote, down. But let's get into it. So as always, guys, I do these weeks to recap the week every single week. Uh, text my line at 213-458-5997. If you get any value out of these videos, if you want me to keep doing them, if you want to sign up for MIC or just get your questions answered. So the SPY is absolutely ramping up. It's absolutely crazy. We're back at 400. Apparently, inflation is down. The economy is good. And retirement is back on. And I'll never see you guys again because I'm going to retire on freaking Boca del Rey with a pina colada. So I'll see you guys never. But no, I'm kidding. But uh, retirement's back on for the uh, for the moment. So November 17th, we're going back to Monday. And what we're going to talk about here are the two trades that Alex did. And the first one was DWAC, D-W-A-C, and G-C-T. But on the watch list, Alex was saying G-C-T, potential hot chick of the morning, not looking to short. And believe it or not, this was actually the one he took a loss on. I don't have a PL for Alex on Monday because it was just basically break even. Um, but he did win on DWAC and he did actually lose on gct but what he was saying on dwac which will actually pull up simultaneously i try to do this guys so you can just get kind of an idea every single day um you know or at least every single example of every single day day that ran and so you can see kind of like the complimentary action of what 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 transpired so uh we're going back to the seventh which is monday right here this was the first day of DWAC, and Alex was saying, I want 23.50 to 24 to 24.50 uh, to even lines at 25. So as you can see, guys, it didn't even make its way up to 24. Alex had a nice short in the morning. You know, it opens up. Stuff's right out of the gate. Literally, you can see that happen. And uh, what does he do? He hits the pop. I mean, it's as simple as that, guys. This is like bread and butter this is this is how we do you know that's just mic process in a nutshell but alex was warning about a potential hot chick on gct so i don't know if he had fomo i don't know if he just kind of felt like maybe i should get in front of this thing or try it at all but you know here's monday on the 7th um of november obviously and he gets a you know he gets a decent short in the morning because this thing actually did kind of stuff out the gate um you know just like what we saw in dwac like it definitely did have this stuff but man, this is one of those ones that just kept going. And you know, guys, if you were to zoom in a little bit, this thing is kind of still, you know, there's not too much overhead and this thing is still kind of intact when it comes to trends. So Alex did exactly what he should have done. He stopped out at pre-market highs, very calculated, just proper risk management. And so that was basically just a break-even day. We'll just call that a big old goose egg, just basically a zero on the PL. Uh, but Alex had a great week because I don't know if you guys remember, but last week Alex was coming off literally a break-even week for the entire week, which we barely see him do. You know, two hundred loss here, five hundred dollar win here, five hundred dollar loss. It basically just you know evened out. Um, want to showcase some members? Rockmon hitting awesome on Vero outer lines. You know, using the whole and half dollar numbers, guys. Fourteen, fourteen fifty. I love that. Um, PO final charts for the week uh, or for the day. He did really good on outer lines. Where did the chart fail before? That's where you want to hit it. This failed, so you can hit this one. This failed here, so you can hit this one. I love that. So just like I love everything when it's good, I got to tell it to you. And P.O. did great on there. Naughty Larry coming in with DWAC as well. You know, super broken down chart, guys. Way under VWAP. These pushes towards VWAP are a lot safer to play than something that's, you know, playing ping pong through VWAP. And then it's just, you know, again, like it could go through, it could retrace, it could come back, it could break through. So... Super broken down stock, tons of overhead, very weak under VWAP. It, that's that's MIC process in a nutshell. Um, as Alex was saying on the watch list and David doing the exact same thing as well following the watch list. Gerard coming in on GCT and waiting for this massive morning squeeze to go past 7 to 7.50 and using the whole and half dollar numbers. So I love that. Waited for the parabolic, waited you know to scale into those whole and half dollars and just a very safe play. I love this trade on um, what Dan Hudson was doing. He actually was on the long side. He was on the reverse side of DWAC and totally caught this squeeze. And actually, believe it or not, pretty much followed what Alex was saying about the watch list in the sense that it was, you know, it was a potential hot chick and he totally took advantage of that. So let's see, we're coming in on Tuesday and Alex said, I made $4,800. 
Nice win under my belt today. Thanks to DWAC again from the watch list. Walking away before I get into trouble, guys. Looking for a morning pop to 2750, 28, 2850, 29. The scale in short, you got to use wide range, but less size. So let's go to the eighth. Uh, obviously Tuesday, it's the next day. It's the second day of the run. So we had this day and then coming in here. So day one and day two, and it's exactly guys, exactly what Alex was saying on the watch list. So just really nice, you know, $4,800, then it tanked. And that was, if you're patient for outer lines, that's where you make the money. So Alex did a really good job. The members also did pretty good too. So check this out. Let's see a couple of them. Uh, let, let me full. Let me make this bigger for you, so you can see. I don't want you to have to squint your eyes and, you know, cause yourself a <laughs> cause yourself an eye problem or a, what's it called a, a stigma? In the, you know, a stigmatism. Uh, Hooper X is just the king of outer lines, man. I love this one. Something's broken way under VWAP. That push towards VWAP is the outer line. If something is not super broken by the open, guess what you're going to have to do? Use the outer lines of where it failed and or the pre-market levels before. So super key, Hooper X doing exactly what process entails. Uh, Travers coming in with a... You know, I want to showcase losses every now and then, guys. I do this every now and then because I think it's really... I, I just think it's a really good idea. And... I don't love the idea of Travers longing on day two as your chances of a successful long get mitigated the, right after day one. Day one, you have the most edge for, long, edge for longs. That's like the day to long. So day two and day three, less odds. But what I love about Travers and what he does here is he cuts it immediately if he's wrong. He gave it a college boy try, which he probably is a college boy, and just cut it immediately when he realized it wasn't going his in his favor. But here's the other thing. And then he cleaned up on GRWG. So, you know, again, strong stock, pull back to support. That's He's not chasing up here. He's waiting for these supports to hold, using the whole and half dollar numbers, and then selling into the jumps, and then using always a little piece, as you can see at the end, like right here, for a break even. So, he so he's never in L on the trade once he's already paid himself. I love that. Um, Chooch. This does not get any sexier than a just a perfect showcase of outer lines. Um, just absolutely flawless, man. I mean, I mean that is literally flawless. So, Chooch, uh, big hats off, buddy. GRWG first resistance plan to scale a 450 to five daily chart. Uh, target area was 410. Again, again, you guys are getting this, man. You guys are getting the outer lines concept. And then once something fails, where do you want to hit it again? You want to hit it at the whole and half dollar levels where that channel sets up. So, Diego, that is absolutely fantastic. I got to shout you out, buddy, and great freaking job. We're coming into Wednesday, the new member webinar. Alex made 6,500. So, as you can see, guys, there was a lot more volatility, a lot more... Um, a lot more opportunity this week. Uh, like I said, you know, Alex had a break even week last week and now he's coming on. I mean, just, I'll just ballpark this really quick, a $20,000 week. Like, so you have to see the difference when the opportunity is there. Like it's, it's massively different. So 6,500, this was the watch list, but I actually want to get into the members and what they were doing. Let's take a look. You know, guys, I, if I wanted to read the watch list every single, you know, every single day, every single day of the week. Uh, these videos would just be too long. I kind of want to make this uh, quick and snappy. But T Dog coming in, absolutely phenomenal. He must have been getting some mentorship from Steven, our world traveler. But what fantastic follow through and use case of the outer lines. Really fantastic job. Naughty Larry again on DWAC. Stocks broken, uses the outer lines at 24. Love that. Hooper X, outer line king. There's nothing that more that needs to be said. When you only can get one bullet or one entry in your trade, you know you're doing something right. Um, Travers, man, this kid, when he's on the right side of trend, which he is a lot, when he's on the right side of trend, this kid kills it. He gets good entries and he pays himself the whole way up. So Travers, huge, huge congratulations there. Steven showcase and a member of the disciplinary workshop. Yorick is absolutely slaying with the consistency lately. Yorick, big congratulations to you, buddy. It's all about getting better. I never want you guys in, you know, in these videos or just in trading in general, especially in MIC, I never want you guys comparing yourself to anybody else. It's always just about being better than you were the day before and making sure that you're focused on your process. So, you know, we can always look at someone else's and there's always a bigger P&L, but that's not what it's all about, guys. So we're coming into Thursday, obviously yesterday, because uh, it's Friday at the time we're re uh, you know, recording this. And let's say what Alex put. He put 3,700, finally a day filled with solid market action. I am taking... 
I am taking easy, predictable money and walking away before zombie times take over because that happens a lot. So let's go to DBGI. I, I, I really like this chart and here's why. So right here, you know, this thing runs after hours, uh, you know, on Wednesday. And so this is basically a day two, guys. This is basically a day two. So that six line is exactly where you want to be because it's a whole and half dollar number and it's the outer line. So this thing runs. Where did it fail before? I always talk about that. Not down here, not down here, not right there. It's the six line. It's the outermost lines. Alex absolutely crushed this, and especially added to a winner, guys. This is this is the biggest takeaway from this. Added to a winner as soon as he caught this massive stuff in the morning. When this shit started stuffing, he was like, I'm in, I'm piling in. And that's the key. So what was that? About a $3,800, $3,700 day yesterday. Um, super clean. This, <laughs> this is where the week got crazy. So for anybody who's been living under a rock, all the, dude, this was the week of pop culture and stuff. Top G, Andrew Cobra Tate. I love this freaking guy. He is now sparring off potentially and doing a fight with Jake Paul. They enter frame. I'm not going to play the video or anything, but Jake Paul's right here. Top G, Andrew Cobra Tate's there. FTX, the biggest, next to Binance, the biggest crypto brokerage in the industry. FTX and FTX.us for the States. Dude, it's like belly up. This guy, Sam Bankman Fraud totally ruined everybody and with this haircut he's not bussing anymore so it's just it is what it is man uh but back to members po awesome job just again again his use case of outer lines is really 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 getting good so all the members you know coin gerard on coin especially hearing all this ftx news like dude this thing is just this feels like a it feels like a ghost town with these crypto stocks or these crypto industries man i'm telling you so you know I, i'm not one to just say just short because the fundamentals look you know so and so but hey i mean i wouldn't be longing hood and coin and you know things like ftx right now not even bitcoin but hey that's not financial advice so it's just there's a lot of fear in the industry going around it feels kind of like a ghost town um split letter always trading a lot perfect process cutting when he's wrong immediately and writing uh the follow-through on winners when he's right so uh, he posts so many charts it's kind of hard to zero in on one but split letter is doing really good every single day and i want to shout him out a little bit because the guy is he, he's he's really crushing so we come in today alex makes 6100 in the morning uh 6100 to end the week solid plan on vs this morning to short four 420 440 lines after it topped out guys and i don't have the chart but i'll just pull up vs real quick oops vs yep so it ran, uh, you know, this last couple days and was a total pump. And then Alex did exactly what process entails. This thing's way broken under VWAP. Obviously, you guys, if you've been watching for a little while and know my quote unquote million dollar strategy, this is what it is. Stock's broken way under VWAP. VWAP is the outer line. If you can combine that with a whole half dollar into all this bag holder land where, you know, these stuck longs from pre-market or these highs of overhead want out i mean that's just cherry on the top it's already inflated the last couple days this this is like this is a home run setup with a home run trade so really really good job alex there and then let's take it to the members uh and i only have a couple here because uh everybody's enjoying their friday but ryan i love this i love this man strong stock look at this process on psny long dips waits for support hole and half dollar hits the rip sells it awesome uh back to t dog had another great trade just like earlier in the week outer lines guys really 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 good job following alex's leads and then a big shout out to rob for putting all of these annotations on alex's charts with commentary real time together so again guys like just want like that's the power of community guys we're all helping each other get to the same goal so i love that so let me actually open up our chat room which is slack chat and what you're going to see in here is a, a couple really cool features so let me expand upon this a little bit so every single day guys we have a watch list in the morning alex is curating the watch list he's putting the details together giving you us giving you a very major edge you take it to the main trading room if you're a small cap trader you have fills you have moderators you have warnings bow <laughs> reminiscing when he's super young you know 30 years ago whatever it is you know uh funny memes you know for price action you know everything in a nutshell everything you need to know sam bakeman fried um large cap and options room guys so you know you don't have to be a small cap trader we have a swing room as well 
There's so much you can do. We have an after hours channel where we have fun. We show our food. We post links. Kevin O'Leary apparently was a big investor in FTX, got demolished, just like Tom Brady and a lot of other guys. I, I don't take joy in that, but man, these guys were risky putting their fortunes in. You know, just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I think everybody got lured into the shiny object that is crypto. So it is what it is. But let me go to their website really quick and also show you guys something really cool. So I'm going to go to myinvestingclub.com myinvestingclub.com cool guys so now that we're here check this out i want to show you two things on the website so if i go to the video library what you're going to see is uh all of our videos right here categorized in order and structure it's actually awesome but alex's live trades we have a new video series where alex records his live trades and then we edit it professionally and then he literally commentates on it full audio you know basically real time you know he's trading real time at the time that it was recorded but now he's coming back after after the case and and this is no hindsight huru because the you know the trades are live but now he's commenting on it and how important what he thought here was what he did here the money that he made his thought process and he's trying to get you guys to get better so while the first one is free to the open public these are exclusive to lifetime now if i go to the main page or actually any page for that matter outside of seeing things like broker statements and free training i want you guys to book a call so 213-458-5997 is my business line but you guys can also book a call if you want to get all your questions answered and i highly recommend doing so as i'm here for you guys and make sure that you get you just have confidence coming into mic so check this out guys as per usual um i have to do the one last thing that we do every single week what is it um calculator let me go here what did alex make for the week let's talk about it so all right 4800 this is not the exact number guys every now and then it's like five to ten dollars off but i ballpark as much as i can so if it's 4780 i'll just put 4800 uh plus 6400 plus 3800 we don't care about like 50 dollars, you know here and there and then 6100 dude this guy broke even last week for the first time in like an entire year. And then literally after perfect risk management says, you know what? <laughs> Pedal to the metal when the opportunity is there, which we had this week, guys, $21,000. So, and if you include rebates, I'm assuming it's probably about around 24,000 for the week. So again, man, what an awesome week compared to last, a lot of lessons. And uh, that concludes the MIC ESPN highlight reel, guys. I will see you next week, and hopefully we'll be busting out more money, more opportunities, more lessons, and you know how it is. If anything, book a call or text my line if you're interested. See you guys.